Hi everybody, Omer Sherist here and what I'd like to do is just take a little bit of your time to demonstrate a, a little bit on cabinet building and what we're going to be talking about today is the uh, European style cabinet sometimes referred to as a frameless cabinet or the 32 millimeter uh, system. Now this this is a system that I have been using for years and just love it because it, it uh, fits so much of the hardware that it, it, it's fast and, and uh, very well set up. Now what I've done here is I've just taken a panel. Okay, this will be an end panel, let's say for, for a lower cabinet uh, type of thing. And as you can see here, I've drilled a series of holes. These are all 32 millimeters apart. And uh, when it's converted over to inches, we are talking uh, inch and a quarter, but for the sake of it being a 32 millimeter cab cabinet, we will talk about that system. Now, this set of holes in here, I this is more for the do-it-yourselfer type cabinet. Now, when I had my own cabinet shop, I had a gang driller which would drill a series of holes all at once. This one here works excellent for the do-it-yourself or if you're not in that big a hurry to, to get a, a series of cabinets put together. But here's how this works. If you, uh, if you look at this thing here, it's, it's gauged to, uh, you can do like a pantry unit out of it, whatever. It's got, a, got quite a number of holes in it here. Now what I have done is starting, this is, this is the bottom and I've just identified it by drilling three holes in, in the system here. And this side here I've drilled three holes along the, the top here and that signifies the outside of the cabinet. So you always get the same measurement from the outside of, from the face of your cabinet inward for your, your system to work properly. And uh, so this is what we have. Now on the, the, the front side, which would be along here, that's where I would start. Putting the bottom down here, putting these holes to the face of the thing, setting it down there even and clamp it there. Okay, then what I do is I proceed to take a bit like this here with a collar on it. Okay, and uh, we just drill each one of the holes as we go along, right up to this is depending on the size of your cabinet you can you can identify that uh, once that is done you will find then that say such as your hinge mounts go in there your drawer runners will fit in that system such like such uh, your drawer or your door dr <coughs> your shelf supports clip into what, whatever location you like to put them in so your whole system works around that 32 uh, millimeter system. It's a great way to go. Uh, another thing I do like with the frameless system, you have clear openings going into the cabinet. You don't have frames in there as such you, as the other type of frame type cabinet. This here is a clear opening. It's a clean uh, look right through the whole system. Uh, now in the event here that you wanted to make this a drawer unit, uh, which I have sitting over here on the floor. I don't know if you can see that. But we have here a three door system. And all that we've done there was just put in three sets of drawer runners in the locations that we wanted them. And as a result, there's what we have, it's a drawer unit. But like I said, you could make this a, a conventional cabinet with a shelf in it, a drawer above the door, this type of thing. Now, also with these here, I use all Bloom systems. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're, they come out of Germany, uh, the Bloom system, but they work very well. These are Bloom drawer runners, Bloom hinges, uh, Bloom supports, everything that goes with them. Now, what I like with these Bloom hinges, they're what we call a clip hinge. And this here is drilled into your door. That would fit on the door, okay? So then you just take your door and come up to the hinge, push this back, and push that down. And there it is, it's clipped on. To take it off again, you just there's a little lever in the back, you just would lift that, and off it comes. Very convenient, very, very nice. 
What I, what I like is, is when you're, you're installing the cabinets and that, it's nice to be able to just take the doors off, set them off to the side so they don't get damaged or anything like that, and then after just walk over and clip them on. And there's all types of adjustments on here to adjust your doors up, down, sideways, in, out. Uh, they're just great. And once you get onto the system, uh, you, you will probably not look back. You'll just keep going in that direction all, all the time. Uh, now, as I said, I only have one end panel here, but there's different methods now for use, for doing the back on these things. Like, if I'm doing a set of kitchen cabinets, I will put a 1 8 groove in here, down the back like this here, and I will insert a 1 8 uh, white finished panel to go inside. And normally my cabinets are made out of white metal so it complements the whole in interior of it. It's all white, it's all finished, and then we quite often install oak doors or maple doors or whatever uh, the client prefers to have uh, in, in terms of uh, doors and that. So it, uh, this is just basically the case that we're talking about. One thing I should mention here too, we have a four inch toe kick notched out here. Now when you come to drill these sets of holes here in the back, you want to make sure that you don't start this gauge right down at the bottom because they will not line up with those holes there. What you have to do is measure up four inches from the bottom to match this four inch toe kick here. Set that in line with your mark and set this even with the back. Clamp it down and proceed to drill your holes the same as you did the front. Then everything lines up. It, it really works well. <clears throat> now, obviously, to make a complete set of cabinets and that, or even a full cabinet, it would take a little more time than what I'm going to spend here at this time. But this, you know, for the do-it-yourselfer, this is the big thing right here to learn, because from here the rest comes quite easily. And uh, maybe down the road I will do a complete cabinet for you so we can uh, explain in detail just exactly what uh, is taking place. Now this little unit here that I have, that just happens to be a little sewing uh, counter here for uh, a lady that wanted that. So I just finished that up today. And uh, the counter top is just all right. It, it's, it's screwed down. You have the drawer units, like I say. And what I did with, with the drawer units, I used the bloom runners once again. I like those because what happens here, as you can see, I have the bottom down here. I glue that in and nail it to the, to the bottom. And uh, these bloom runners actually come underneath the bottom of the drawer and support the bottom. So all your weight is on the drawer runner, not on the actual bottom of the case, which is pretty important because I'm sure you've all seen at one time or other where the bottoms have actually folded right out or, or whatever. This here, uh, it's doubtful that you're going to have any problem with that at all because, uh, like I say, I've been building them building them this way here for 25 years and I have yet to have a problem with any of them. And, uh, but the whole key is glue, air nail, sometimes you, if it's a bigger door you might want to put a couple screws in here, you know, uh, just to support the center through there. But normally uh, your sides are all taken care of with your door runners. <coughs> 